Hi Virgo, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for December. I hope that you guys are all doing okay. Uh, I don't know if you're in November or if you're in December at this time. Either way, hello, it's nice to see you. Just a reminder that this Palo Santo is not lighting as good as the last batch that I had. So I apologize. I love to do my big blowout, right? But the Palo Santo has not been agreeing with me. Although, it's doing very well right now. That's good. It's great. One little thing I want to tell you guys is that I bought a pink Christmas tree. It should be here in less than a week. It's going to go in my bedroom. Okay. Here we go, Virgo. We cleanse the space. For Virgo. Hmm. The throat chakra could be problematic for you at this time. I've never had to do this before. This much. You could really, really be holding back a lot of things from people right now. Okay, are you like having to bite your tongue a lot right now, Virgo? Having to bite your tongue a lot? Feeling like you can't express yourself, right? Feeling like you can't express yourself. I'd be surprised. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we got, you know, Queen of Swords in reverse here. If we got um, Nightingale card coming out, um, Ace of Swords in reverse. Lots of things in reverse with a, with a throat chakra, of course. But yeah, things you feel in like you wish you could say, but you can't. I'll leave the F as soon as I... Nope, too many cards, sorry. animal yeah you're really feeling quite stifled this month quite stifled in ways in which you express yourself okay release the energy within your body okay you're really at this time needing to really be wild and not like go crazy, right? Like go partying and, and have a bunch of shots or something like that. Or clearly that's not what you're going to do. Okay. But I just mean a responsible wild. Okay. Go snowboarding. If you like snowboarding, go skiing, go um, roller skating, right? Go roller skating, go throw axes at the wall um at those places right go dancing do something you feel trapped this month like your throat's being constricted like you can't move like you feel like i can't move i feel like i can't move so yeah this talks about nature too right like digging in the dirt go put your feet in some dirt okay take your shoes off put your feet on the ground as long as it's not the middle of winter and you're gonna freeze right but um yeah that'll be good that'll be good the swan the octopus and the beaver yeah i think there's a certain level of 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 grace that you are going to be inhabiting this month, which is really nice, okay? I think you feel 
good in the sense that you're going to start to feel as though you can move again, as though you can move again. That's huge. That's everything. I feel the biggest energy coming through when I say that. You're going to feel as though you can move again, that things are working, that you have energy, that you have the ability to do this. Okay, I feel like a lot of confidence is going to be coming up this month for you, Virgo. You're going to have a lot of confidence. And we see a lot of very simple lines in a lot of these pictures. Okay, We see a lot of very mm, similar coloring here. Okay, Yeah, there's a little bit of light blue in that animal's eyes. Okay, And there's a little bit of light blue at the top of this card. Now there are also, forgive my lack of camera focusing little thin lines little thin lines lots of white okay i'm feeling like there's going to be space you're going to be creating space this month you're going to be feeling more open more expansive free okay i'm feeling a sense of ease coming through after you release this energy because right now at the beginning of the month you feel completely and utterly trapped not in a bad way i mean being trapped is not pleasant but you're not in harm you're not in harm's way you just have a lot of energy built up that you have to get out that you have to get out so get it out in whatever way you have to get it out okay because once you do that you're gonna feel really free like this octopus here okay with our arms floating everywhere right you're going to feel very free and expansive okay and you're going to feel as though you can put in the work with the beaver okay eight of pentacles energy right so it's essentially six of pentacles meets ace of wands meets beaver spirit um eight of pentacles clearly three of pentacles you know it's working you feel good strength kind of but more like seven of pentacles meets eight of eight of pentacles I'm drinking this like cinnamon orange tea. It's so good. It's like really sweet without any sugar needed. It's nice. The hanged man in reverse with the three of swords in reverse. I think um, there are, you, you, you have done a very good job of not being impatient okay not being impatient because you've learned the lessons in life that have taught you how to keep yourself safe okay keep yourself safe from what from the seven of swords okay keep yourself safe from deceit keep yourself safe from people that are not trustworthy keep yourself safe from situations that that don't serve you um and not in a selfish way there's nothing wrong with like doing things that serve you. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially if you haven't been treated in the best of ways, right? If you haven't been treated in the best of ways, you have to protect yourself. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck as soon as I open it, right? With the prince of discs in reverse. Six of Wands, you have success on your mind for sure. You have success on your mind for sure. You have the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse with the Hanged Man in reverse again. This is a couple, okay? This is a couple. This is a pair. This is, there's a couple of options here because there's so many people that watch. I have to go over all of the situations, okay? So, the feminine energy, regardless of if you're in a relationship, if you're looking for love, okay, or if you're um, like single, you don't have anybody in your life right now. The feminine energy here is very calm, cool, and collected, in charge of her emotions, feels good, right? The king of cups in reverse is the masculine energy that might not feel be so cool, right? 
Maybe they get angry easily. Maybe they close up easily. Maybe they don't know how to communicate, okay? That's just what's happening. If you are in a situationship, the same energy is still going on. If you are single, this is you and um, another person that you're interacting with. There's something here about needing to be patient, okay? Because you're not being patient at this time, okay? You're not being patient. You feel trapped. You feel stifled, okay? And you're wanting this energy to be released, okay? But we have the hanged man on the board twice, okay? So in reverse twice. So it's very important that you take your time, okay? Because what did we talk about? When you take your time and you make the right decisions, then you're able to avoid heartbreak, deception, dis-ease, misalignment, 11-11. The tower. Something big is going to happen this month. I feel like you're going to have a huge breakthrough. I feel like you're going to have a huge breakthrough. It's going to make you question a couple of things. King of Swords in reverse. I saw the King of Swords in reverse when I was um, shuffling before. The masculine energy in the situation is feeling insecure. Extremely... Mm, detached from themselves okay emotionally detached uncertain insecure is all i can really say insecure and emotionally unavailable unaware lacking emotional intelligence right so that's happening that's happening six of cups in reverse looking at how things used to be looking at how things used to be knight of cups how you were treated um the level of flirtation involved in this situation okay if you're single this is the fact that men have not really pursued you right men haven't pursued you or the men that you have had pursue you mm, weren't really where they needed to be emotionally to work in your favor right to work for you king of cups in reverse again with the knight of wands in reverse okay we have two king of cups in reverse on the board officially okay with the knight of wands in reverse these are people that are emotionally unavailable and usually um there's a lot of different people watching right but this is someone who's sometimes all about just sex right just wants sexual connection okay rico suave mm -hmm. but emotions are not where they need to be. Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I did see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, you know, the world, the world was in reverse. Knight of Pentacles was at the bottom of this deck. And then the Knight of Pentacles is in re reverse here. Okay. Yeah, King of Wands here with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Something just doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Something doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And you're getting impatient this month. You're getting impatient. And um, 
I'm just going to open the door from my bedroom for my dog. He's finished his bone, so now he wants to see me. So, yeah, something just doesn't feel like it's working. Doesn't feel like it's working. Doesn't feel like things are going the way that you would have expected them to go, right? Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, okay? But you want to put in the work. These both feel like they want to flip around. Nope, this does not. Things are not working. But you want to put in the work. And that's why the pentacles came out up right over here. The knight of pentacles, you want to put in the work. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Four of swords in reverse. Five of cups in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. But things just don't feel like they're working. And what you thought was going to be the vision isn't really the vision that you thought. And um, yeah, with this five of cups here, you really don't want to be disappointed. You don't want to be disappointed. You want to feel relaxed. You want to feel good. You want to feel like, like, dang, king of, oof, well, that was a lot. We have justice here, okay, with the queen of swords in reverse with the king of swords upright. Six of cups in reverse again, okay? Six of cups on the board twice. We have so many repeating cards right now, okay? So this is definitely coming out loud and clear that the feminine here is clearly more emotionally mature, okay? The feminine is more emotionally insecure mature the masculine is more um emotionally unavailable not unavailable emotionally immature okay but the queen of swords has some things that we don't know about the queen of swords has some insecurities full body goosebumps the feminine energy here has some insecurities while the masculine is very confident in themselves okay we do have the King of Swords in reverse because that's just another side, right? There is insecurity, but there is still security here. There is a pair. There is a, a, a masculine feminine energy coming through here with the Six of Cups in reverse again. This can be nostalgia of wanting things to go back to the way that they were. I want things to go back to the way they were, right? Let's do the Luna. King of Swords, upright. <laughs> emperor dang the masculine is feeling good okay the masculine is feeling good big energy you have the tower and you have the death card both upright on the board big energy coming this month four of cups in reverse you're gonna have some sort of major awakening that has you no longer needing to wish the grass was always greener for you i feel like the grass is always greener on the other side and something happening this month is going to show you that the grass is not always greener the grass is not always greener on the other side you're gonna feel five of cups in reverse 
you're going to feel very happy and comfortable with how things are going. What did I say in the beginning? You're going to feel a release, right? You're going to feel a release of energy that's going to... You're going to feel really expansive this month, okay? Really expansive this month. Seven of Swords in reverse. You're going to... Five of Pentacles in reverse. This month, you're going to feel like you are finally where you've wanted to be for so long. <sighs> Seven of Swords is like removing all of the BS. Right? Removing all of it. Getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. Okay? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Again, right next to the Five of Cups in reverse, this is major change of energy. Like, if you've been feeling like you don't really fit in in certain places, or you haven't been, you've been feeling disappointed, or you've feel, been feeling left out, or you've been, um, yeah, like, just not, like, yeah. That's going to change this month in a really big way. Okay, it's going to change this month in a really big way. That's so nice. I want some cards for advice for Virgo. Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Advice for Virgo this month. Queen of Pentacles in reverse again. Ace of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords. Advice is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so stop feeding into things that aren't giving back to you and start putting work into things that are giving back because you're independent, you are capable, and you just need to... Um, ensure you're not burning yourself out on things that aren't giving you the results that you want to to have right and um this can talk about not overworking don't overwork yourself right this can also talk about like not being lazy either okay don't be lazy this month either Two of Pentacles in reverse. There are going to be times this month where you feel like you can't juggle everything all at once, right? And like you are confused, okay? But again, don't forget that you know what you're doing and who you are. Don't second guess yourself. We all do that from time to time. But you know what you're doing. You're extremely intelligent. The Hierophant. And you know yourself really well. Ten of Swords. I think you really beat yourself up. Uh, if we're going to go into it right now. Um, we're getting a little bit more into who you are and not surface level. You do beat yourself up a lot. Okay, you beat yourself up, but that's actually helped you. It's helped you become successful. It's helped you get to where you need to be because if you were not hard on yourself, maybe nobody else would be. So you had to be really hard on yourself. Self-discipline is what I'm picking up with the six of, with six of wands. The tower in reverse, okay? Don't resist this big change, okay? Don't resist the big change. Don't forget self-care with the well in reverse. 
so much reversal energy from the feminine here, okay? We have so much reversal from the feminine energy. We have the empress in reverse, okay? You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You have what it takes. You have to tell yourself that. You have to tell yourself that. We all tell ourselves that all day, every day. I'm perfect. I'm beautiful. Okay, I'm not perfect, but you're perfect, right? You're perfect. Everyone's perfect. Everyone is perfectly imperfect and imperfectly perfect. Um, yeah. You're gorgeous, okay? You're gorgeous. Taking steps and leaps can be scary. Two of wands here. Not seeing exactly how you're going to get to that next level can be tough. But you are curious and intelligent and smart and... Ready is all I can say. Even if you feel like you don't, or you're not, you're ready, okay? It's time, justice. It's time to receive everything <laughs> and all of these new beginnings, everything you've been waiting for, everything you've been waiting for. Don't be afraid of letting go of a life that is no longer in alignment with who you are, right? Gotta take steps to go forward. King of Wands, upright. The King of Wands, where were you? Yep, you're right there. Upright. Nine of Swords, overcoming. You and this person that you're involved in. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you can't let each other go. You can't let each other go. And I can't get around the fact that... um. I can't get around the fact that you... There's so much masculine, feminine, like couple energy here, right? Couple energy, situationship energy, crush energy, or just masculine and feminine here, right? But this is definitely more like commitment energy is what I'm feeling or nostalgia about the past, all right? But you're both on each other's minds a lot. King of Wands, upright twice very good looking masculine is in the picture here so that's you hello or that's your person nice job beautiful energy confident not cocky and overcoming these things that really just make you feel really bad keep you up at night right good energies here Keep me posted. I'm all about this. Behold, the beauty of the rose is endlessly yet to be seen. Third eye chakra, crown chakra. She beholds a mystery which she will not know until the dreamers unite. In personal revelation, her inner sacred secret will unfurl. She will know the deepest mystery, so unique that only she will understand. There will be no words by which she can explain her awakening. Remember, I told you your throat feels like it's closed off. 
you can't explain yourself. There will be no words by which she can explain her awakening. And in her humble and ecstatic silence, she will become the mystery. Behold the mystery of the lotus. Are they intoxicated by the mud of existence? Where does such an exquisite fragrance and beauty come from? O oh, sweet mystery, watch as they unfurl a pure embodiment of grace. Let summer flower eternally in your heart with the heady fragrance of easy valor, a fearless understanding that life works out better than you could have imagined when you're deeply relaxed. Four of Swords wanted to come out. Four of Swords just wanted to say to rest and relax. Relax. Let your languid beauty innocently invoke an inner awakening to the self-realization, I am truly beautiful in so many ways. May you receive this knowing gracefully, for the love in your own heart is what you absolutely deserve. Okay, Virgo, what an interesting reading. That was beautiful. All right, I hope you have a very good December and I'll see you in January. Thanks, bye-bye.